Good morning, this is Alamon, and welcome back to City Skylines After Dark with our bike town here. Um, now it occurs to me, well first of all we're going to have to immediately add some more water capacity. We're getting pretty close to the edge here and we don't want to run out of water. But it occurs to me our electricity availability is so absurdly, obscenely huge due to this hydroelectric dam. Oh, 608, that's a bit lower than we've been seeing. We've been seeing a lot above 700, but uh, I guess it does fluctuate. Anyway, let's jump straight over to the budgetary panel and kind of put this through the floor. Actually, you know what? Let's just put it all the way down to 50 because I bet that that's still going to be just fine. Spending a lot of money on that, a lot of money on trash pickup due to the incinerators. Uh, they are very expensive to run. Very little on education relative to um, trash there. Anyway... This is supposed to be a bike-friendly town, and I'm not really sure how else to encourage that other than the fact that we have all the, um, we have the city policy, or whatever it's called, not, not policy, um, city planning to encourage biking, and we have the streets with bike lanes. Of course, that, um, doesn't help with the highways, and so these roundabouts are useless for the cyclists. Um, I have considered, you know, we, we could try to go over here to, um, well, I, I still don't think that there's any real benefits using a bicycle path. I might be wrong, but yeah, cyclists can use a pedestrian path. So we could just, um, you know, connect these roads with pedestrian paths. And okay, that's not hugging the circle quite as closely as I'd like, but it's pretty close. Maybe if I go like this, it'll be closer. No, then it just kind of clips through it. Get a slighter angle. Yeah, that'll work. Let's try to do the same thing here. Get a very slight angle. And that'll connect. Same thing here. Very slight angle. Connect. All right, so now it's possible for cyclists to get around that roundabout. Um, I guess I should probably do the same up here as well. But um, the real theme of this, you know, this episode and the ones immediately to come should be public transportation because we don't have any of that yet. We don't have any buses. Um, we don't have any subways. We are just a transit desert. Oh, is this? Yeah, that's a fire station. Um, let's move you then. And I can't, because... There we go. That's going to wreck a bunch of houses, but whatever. I do want to make sure that the uh, cyclists and pedestrians can actually get around. Um, it is a bit of an issue that, um, you know, when they cross here, it's going to slow down traffic. I'm not quite sure how I want to deal with that, or if that's something that we even can deal with. It is... To some extent, just kind of an inexorable, unavoidable fact of life when you have pedestrians, you know, they have to cross the street. And I don't think we have any particularly great way to avoid that. Alright, uh, no, we don't want this. Oh, it's a dump, that's what's there. It's a little bit hard to do this at night. Um, I guess I should have all this zoned as residential, probably. Oh, one quick thing. Let's at least make sure that we have the, um, the walled highway. Alright, now we'll go back here. So yeah, we need transit, for sure. Um, I would really like to experiment with the new bus station. We also need the bus depot. So we're talking about basically 100,000, whatever we want to call these, 100,000 Skyline Bucks to, um, okay, that's still connected through, good, uh, just to get buses up and running at all. And ideally, I think we would have two stations, one for the, uh, I'm actually not sure of the cardinal directions here. I don't know if this is north and south or what, but you know, one for the top shore and one for the bottom shore. 
Um, and another thought I had was it would probably be good, because now I'm using Traffic++ Plus Plus again, probably be good to actually have a small busway as its own bridge across the river so that the buses don't have to compete for the traffic on this bridge, because um, we decided to make this a cyclist-friendly bridge, not necessarily a you know bus-friendly bridge. Um, although it is possible we could go to the large roads and... Um, actually, wait, what, what of these are... Oh god, I don't... Six-lane road with bus lanes. Six-lane road with bus lanes and decorative grass. Six-lane road with bus lanes. Yeah, so it's the same name. <laughs> I don't know which assets which. Oh gosh. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to play with that later. I know that the, um, the one from After Dark says bus taxi on the lane. Uh, is there a difference in... Actually, no, I see that. It says Bucks Taxi. This must be the one from After Dark, then. Okay. Cost 80 per cell. This one costs also 80 per cell. Well, that's what we get for using mods that duplicate functionality that is now in the base game. Uh, so many things we gotta do, though. We gotta do the public transportation, like I said, but then we are having criminal problems. Um, the crime rate's not bad, but we... By this point, I'm sure I have quite a few criminals. Uh, sorry, let me find my station again. 14 out of 20. And then my understanding is they release them over time. So you cost 2400 a week. That's, that's not terrible. And we are going to need a prison eventually. Uh, it'd be cool if we could like build an island and then have a secluded island prison. But I don't think that's going to happen. Um... Instead, maybe what we'll do is just have a normal road here. And just plop it down over here. Just so it's a little bit out of the way from the rest of the city. And okay, that will get power, and we can easily hook that up to get water as well. All right, we have the prison. Um, we could go for the bike stuff, but then we'd be pretty much out of money. Let's just get to daytime because it is way too dark right now. And actually, I generally prefer not to keep it on the X99 speed because then um, automatic bulldoze tends not to work. Because it just uh, it's taking up too many processor cycles. Okay, so we are slightly under providing on our electricity. So let's... Boost that up to 60, and maybe boost this up to 70. <clears throat> okay, that's looking like plenty. Enough for now, anyway. Traffic really does seem to be flowing more smoothly than it does in the base game. I might be totally wrong about that, but just this looks like it's working better than a spaghetti mess like this would work in the normal base game. Alright, we have a little bit of a delay here. Yeah, and it's true, uh, this here was not meant to be a permanent solution. Um, oh wait, I shouldn't have deleted both of those. Uh, right. Let's get a... Road like that. And how do we want to do this? I think we're just going to take... Well, actually, what's underground here? Yeah, so there's already stuff underground right there that we're going to have to deal with. So maybe... Um... Ah, no, this will work perfectly. We just have another exit sticking out here. So then we can avoid this. And... Just basically dump the traffic. Um, I think I want to go around here and then... Well, actually, first... Well, let's extend that because um, that's kind of what I want to preserve. All right, let's go back underground. There.
So now it should be easy for trucks to get through here. There we go. So now they're not having to cross traffic like that, although we are seeing a lot of people making U-turns. And we're seeing lanes sometimes freeze up a bit. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, so some people are making U-turns to go through here and then through there. All right, this should all shake out, though, pretty quickly now that we've set up the new path. New vehicles should know what to do. And so traffic around here shouldn't really be coming into conflict. This particular U-turn right here is not necessary, actually, because they can make U-turns right here. But I think I'll leave it. I don't think it's causing any problems. We have a slight demand for commercial. Um, man, I really want it to be sunrise already. It's almost time for sunrise. Yeah, so we should be zoning some more commercial. Um, we could start doing high density. But I kind of feel like I'd rather have like a brand new area that's dedicated for high density. Uh, maybe not though. Maybe I should just be rezoning some of this for high density. And then over along the riverfront, that might be better for lower density. So uh, let's start over here. Let's plop down some high-density commercial right there. And, you know, sorry all of you citizens here, but I'm going to dezone all this land. And um, give you a second to despawn. And then we're going to do high-density residential. We also really do need more police. I think, um, so we have the prison. Let's go for the police headquarters now. And it'd be good to put them somewhere. Yeah, like right here. Um, so they'll pop right out into the roundabout and they can get anywhere they need to go. You know, even if they want to cross the bridge, that'll work fine. Um, yeah. Although I do wish we had a bit more space right here because Vehicles have to queue up pretty far before they're able to make the turn onto the bridge. So I might actually want to make... Alright, this is a little weird. I think I'm going to try it. We're going to have another exit. Oh, that's going to break our path. Well, that's not the end of the world. That's not the end of the world. Let's, uh... Oh, there is another... Okay, that's fine. Go through here, and then dig down to right here. Now let's say to right here. And then we'll have it wrap straight around, except it's saying that it doesn't like that. Why aren't you liking this? Also, that's really weird how it's building out actual terrain. Ah, here we go. So that will create a signal. But I don't think it's going to be the end of the world by any means. Although I don't know why the signal is actually triggering so much instead of just staying green until there are actually vehicles queued here. So actually, you know, let's just turn off the signal. Whatever. Traffic going for the bridge can just take its chances. I really wish that you could just say, uh, you know, no left turns from here. Um, I know that there are ways to edit. Actually, I can do that, I believe. I think. In this mode, I should be able to... Here we go. Now I can select it. All right, from here, I can say, yes, you can make right turns only. There. So that must be a part of just normal Traffic++ plus plus now. 
All right, so now the traffic uh, coming this way doesn't have to worry about that. I could actually give them their own exit, though. Yeah, I like that idea. I like that idea. It's um, it's going to be messy, but let's just redo a bunch of what we just... There we go. Let's redo a bunch of what we just did. Let's um, delete all of that. And uh, let's do this side first. Uh, having trouble making something that'll... All right, well, let's just um, get it off there first. That's the important thing. Then we want to get it underground. Or do we? Yeah, we do. Whoa, darn. I clicked in just the wrong place there. There we go. Alright, so then I'm going to have to above ground this. Let's um, get in freeform road because this is making really ugly stuff here. So this might cause that stuttering start stop start stop. If it does, we can try to revise later. There we go. Uh, one last thing, I have to go back into the road customizer tool, select this, and say, what do I need to say? Uh, you can only go straight. You also can only go straight. Um, and you can only do those things. All right, so I think this will work. So that now only people who are on this side can make the exits. Yeah, this should work. I think I might have just seen somebody make a U-turn. Oh, and uh, that's right, I have to turn off the traffic signal again. This should help with traffic as long as things don't jam up right here. So that'll take a lot of the strain off of this intersection. So we're building our money up. We have a nice positive weekly income. I really want to get to those buses, but I just, I don't want to spring for that quite yet. I, I want us to have more of a cushion built up. Also, how is the... Ah, no, we're out of water. Should have been keeping my eye on that. I guess the water level rose, okay. Uh, you guys are still producing, though? Yes, you are. We don't have the treatment plant yet, so we're just going to have to keep using the gross pipes. Our electricity availability is good. We have... Yeah, I mean, that's a fair margin. We could um, reduce our funding a little more, but I think it's okay the way it is. How are our cemeteries doing, by the way? 10 out of 10 hearses in use. 10 out of 10 hearses in use, yeah. So they're not doing so hot. Probably do need to slap down another one or two. Um... I don't know. I guess this is not a bad spot. I don't think I'm going to be developing this uh, middle part here. Oh, look at all those cyclists. Wow. That's a little ridiculous. Uh, 
Uh, they're not moving. Why aren't they moving? Oh god, something is terribly wrong here, isn't it? Let's take a look at this. Oh, it's all out of focus, but yeah. Oh, they finally moved, and there they are. Well, they must be drastically cutting down on the number of cars on the road. I mean, just look at the ridiculous number. Also, that... Um crossing is working just fine. It is slowing traffic, but uh, it's doing its job. Oh man, that is gorgeous. Oh, so a ton of them are going to school. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, high school availability is in the pits. We should get more incinerators as well. Maybe plop another two up here. So that gets us in the green for now. How's our dump over here doing? It is full. Or no, it's emptying. 60% full and emptying. That's fine with me. Traffic in the circle is a little jammed up. I think it would be a good idea to get those buses on the go. Um, so we're going to do that in the next episode. And uh, I am actually timing these now instead of just recording tons and tons and tons in a row and then splitting them up in post-production. Oh, I guess this doesn't have um, a bike connection, huh? Well, that's okay. All right, good night, sleep tight, and don't let the traffic bite. Bye-bye.